and welcome back to the channel. On this video we're riding from Woodhaven Park in Sherwood, that's a city park here, to King City, Oregon. And with me is my friend Keith again. So how are you doing Keith? How's it going everybody? And we're going to brave this heat. There's noises coming from my backpack and it sounds like I'm uh, doing something which I'm not. <laughs> anyway, a uh, fun way to start the video. So here we go. Keith's right. going to lead the way. So we're going to take this trail back here. We're definitely uh, right into the thick of summer with lots of 90 plus or even 100 plus degree days. So I guess a cool day now will be anything in the 80s. It took a while to get the heat going, but boy, I'll tell you, it's here now. And we're feeling it each day. So I feel sorry for anybody that does not have air conditioning. You can see with the warmer temperatures is the grass burns off at this time of year in a lot of places unless you soak, soak it really good with water. Bumpy here. Nice to be able to ride on these trails in the in the shade. Definitely feeling it right here. Uh, uh. <laughs> Need the full suspension for that little piece of trail. All right, here we go, Mark. Now we get to do some highway riding with the fast cars. I'm going to switch batteries on the fly. I 
as we speak I'm changing batteries because I want a full battery for this. Touch 40 again there. Touch 40 again, we were flying. Yeah. I think mine's about 30. I was going to overtake you, but I thought there's not enough room. I didn't want to get onto the uh, car lane there. Well, when we get in that stretch, you know, after sure, we you guys got to there. Don't. Whoops. We have uh, somebody. Uh, <laughs> Hey buddy, what for? Uh, don't go in that narrow. Uh, remember last time we went in that narrow? The bridge. Are you going to go in that? No, I'm going to try to stay on the road, bud. I think I'll that's be. a little too narrow there. Yeah, it is. Hard to navigate through there. It's okay for a pedestrian walking, but it's kind of tough on the bike. And we're still making our way through Sherwood here. We're on the back side of Sherwood now. Did you put your second battery on? I did. I switched on the fly. Oh, okay. I'm at 55.9 and 55.8 volts. The other one was down to 48 or something, I think. Okay. It was still in the yellow, but I wanted to get a full charge here, especially riding on this road. Not bad. How many miles does it say you have left? Yeah, so you're good.
had to wait for that light. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, these bikes can sure fly. <laughs> like they, fun, they. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at 50 volts, saying 8 miles range. I'm at 54.2 on the new battery. But I'm pretty sure it goes. So I'm probably about 50 right now. You think you can get at least 30 miles? Yeah, because we've only gone like 14 miles on this battery. Yeah, so. But that hill probably did suck up a lot of energy. You probably wouldn't want to go any farther than 30 just to be safe. Yeah. So I say my max speed was 37.6. Did you push that? Um, no, I didn't. Yeah, my GoPro battery just went dead. Oh, wow. You know, the heat probably doesn't help the battery either, right, for the GoPro. It probably zaps it a little Same faster. The bike too. Yeah, the bike. Especially yeah. the cold is even worse, but yeah. And then the motor gets hot. Yeah, exactly. With the heat, you know, with running it hard. Yeah, it wasn't really running more than half power. It was staying right about 2,000 watts, which is pretty good. I don't want to run it too much harder than that, you know? No. Just so it doesn't get hot. But it's fun to go out for a quicker ride, like with this compared to the Rad, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for go. sure. Go Doesn't matter. This is good. Right here? Yeah. Well, that's going to do it. That was a fast ride. I, I was a few times. The grizzly or the graffiti here was fast today. It was touching 40 a couple of times. Nice. And uh, but now with this camera not facing the, uh, oh, the yeah, display, yeah. people aren't going to see that. But it was constantly going like 37, 38, 40. It was really motor. Yeah, we're moving, especially when it's downhill on that. And for some reason, it seems like it has a lot of zip today. You know, there's some days that it feels lethargic, especially in the colder weather. I don't. I think it does zap it, you know, a little bit, but it was it was flying. All right. All right well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that uh, ride. That was a fast highway ride this time around. Is it hot? Uh, it's warm, but I wouldn't say hot. But I'm sure the inside is pretty warm. Like I said, it, it was only running about half power. Uh, my motor's pretty hot. You can touch it, but I mean, it's not going to. You can hold your hand there, but it's pretty hot. It's Feel definitely that. warm. <laughs> yeah, because I'm curious how they get too hot. Yeah, it's like mine. Which I don't think that's too bad. It's not like overheating. No, no. I think it's fine. But, yeah, that's just normal. Um, if you rode it, pinned it, and rode it all day, full throttle, right. in a hot day, I think that is going to... Yeah, 100 degree weather. Yeah, like our buddy there, Mr. Central Driver. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to go fast, but um, sometimes when it's over 100 degrees, you gotta, you gotta kind of peel it back a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to run it hard. So, you know, I want the bike to last. Yeah, time. I mean, look at how bold my tire is getting. I think it's time to get, so, gonna be pushing 2,000 miles on it though on these tires. That's pretty good. The front one still has a little bit some tread left though. Yeah, just the weight difference. All right, well that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below.
Once again, thank you to Keith for joining me uh, for this ride. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, no problem, Mark. And until next time, keep your wheels in the road. See you later.